Hey guys and gals, Von Baden back with another video for Nightmare Creation. We are done to a point that I could show you this. Uh, things, judgment calls that I'll make at a later point, I'll deal with a later point. And if I do change them or don't, I'll um, update you with a photo or something like that in the future. So. This video is the finished zombie head gumball machine. So stay tuned. All right, here we are just out of the area. You can see part of the zombie headed gumball machine. Uh, before we get into that, um, if I'm yelling, I do apologize. Uh, my children decided to bring home a bug and I've got some plugged ears. So if I'm screaming, I do apologize. You didn't make me mad. You didn't upset me. Um, but before we get into that, I told you that when I finished it, I would post in a video and here it is the finished gun um this is a little too open and plain for me i may come back and do something i don't know at this point but um as i argue with myself on if i want to do more or not uh, this is as done as this is going to be for right now. A while back, I had a friend who had uh, made some skulls and I uh, struggled on what I wanted to do, if I wanted to make the skull more zombie, keep it skullish or whatnot. So, um, I kicked it around, kicked it around, and I finally started to go and just commit, and I went more skull-like. So this was a, before I show you the rest, that's um, expanding um, like good stuff, foam. And I went through, and I painted the whole thing with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, acrylic black for my base coat. And then I went over it and airbrushed white on top of it. And then after that, I went through and did all of the, the darker brown areas that you see. I did with a brown um, Plaid FX paint. Came back after that and did this black lining like in the skull there and back in the eyes around the teeth and whatnot now i am going to um dingy up the teeth i'm on that fence i've seen pictures where teeth have um, a yellowish tin to them and i've seen them where they're like a goldish color and I'm arguing with myself on which direction to go there. But after that was all done, I went through and stained the whole thing with a cherry applewood type stain, I think is what it's called. And uh, it's still a little bit sticky. I gotta seal that up, but that's where we're at with that. Then, before I unveil, or reveal, or unveil, however you want to go about it, the zombie-headed uh, gumball machine, I thought I had not do magic. And one of the things that's always been kind of iconic with a magician is a top hat. Now, this is not 
uh, this is sanded down a bit. I still gotta refine some of these edges and then go through and kind of hit hit it with some uh, seal, quick seal um, caulk. There we go. To make some of these uh, seams disappear. But um, I wanted to get going on that and I gotta decide on what I'm going to do as far as um, the band around it, colors, if I wanna make it very traditional looking of a magician's top hat or if I'm gonna go off of my own direction. But enough of all that, moving on. So, once again, I still haven't found a better base for this, which stinks. But what I did here, I'll lift them up a little bit. Hopefully that's coming in good. The silver paint just wasn't outstanding on the post. So I did a copper base to it. And I'm gonna, um, one of the things that I'm arguing with myself on is to age it like I did with this band here that goes around his head. I don't know if, if I get any closer it, it's gonna show or not, but there is a band right here that goes around his head. And I had took, I don't have it over here. I have a, a like baby blue Plaid FX paint that I severely um, watered down and that's what gave this spike the the corrosion look the band the corrosion look um, I have painted the, the cap for this and this is going to get corroded probably as well I just I fight with myself guys so I do apologize um, this is four pieces of 10 millimeter foam that I had um, out of my scrap bin, which is always a good thing to keep a scrap bin around, uh, glued together. Then I caulked the, the edges to uh, make those seamless and gave it a copper paint job on it to finish that out. Um, the gumball is glued to his tongue, uh, truly a enjoyable build to do, and I don't know how well that's going to come out on camera, but his eyes are stitched closed with some, uh, red floss that my wife had in her craft kits for her, um, needlepoint and stuff so it's finished I was debated on the hair for a while painting a little bit onto the hair and kind of aging it but I kind of like him looking like what a beetle would look like you know the Beatles remember no probably not I got a young audience here I know but anyways um, very fun build Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and if you want to come back and see what I do with the skull next or the top hat, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you'll get notified every time I load up a new video. And until then, I'll see all of you, you right there, on the very next video. Thanks. Bye. I don't know why I salute you guys. It's I have problems. I've had too much sugar. So, see you then.